In our morning rounds, new hope for early detection of ovarian cancer. One of the largest studies of its kind is just coming out this morning. The research finds that a simple blood test combined with an ultrasound reduces the risk of dying from the disease by 20%. Our Dr. David Agus leads the Westside Cancer Center at the University of Southern California, and he's in Los Angeles. David, good morning. Morning, Nora. You think this study is a very big deal? No question about it. It's one of the largest clinical trials ever done. 200,000 women, and there were three groups. One had a blood test that used an algorithm to look at change over time of this marker called CA125, followed by an ultrasound if it was abnormal. The second was people just getting the ultrasound, and the third was they did nothing. And if you take out the women who had ovarian cancer when they entered the study, there was about a 20% reduction over 14 years in the deaths of ovarian cancer. And this is a cancer where it classically presents late. And if this were implemented in the United States, we would save about 3,500 lives per year. What's the breakthrough in terms of the test? Well, we use this test, CA125, in several other studies to try to identify ovarian cancer. In this study, though, they didn't just look at the absolute number. They looked at the change in the number with an algorithm combined with other risk factors. So I think it's that. It's looking at the delta, what we call the, right, the right. change in science, which really looked at the difference compared to the other studies. And because of the size of the study and the length showed the survival advantage. You know, David, when you get the news of ovarian cancer, it's such devastating news. Why is it so hard to detect this particular kind of cancer? Well, because of where it is in the body, it classically presents later. So by the time there are symptoms, it's a much, it's a big cancer and it's mm -hmm. too hard to actually cure. Mm -hmm. So the death rate of this cancer is pretty high with only about 45% of people living five years after diagnosis. So this is one, and this is the first study ever to show that early detection saves lives. So it's a pretty important finding so, in ovarian cancer. So that's the, the question, early detection. So, whim, so should women be asking their doctors for these tests now? Well, that's a key question, is that this study is important, but it was one piece of the puzzle. There are some statistical reasons why this may not be yet definitive, and it may take a year or two to really make this definitive. And so it's going to be a debate. Do we implement it now because we can save lives potentially? And the risk is there, but it's low. If you do three surgeries, one of the women will have ovarian cancer. So there still is a false positive risk. That is, you can go through surgery and potentially not need it. So this is the beginning of it. But hopefully, this will actually mark what we, in, in the cancer world, what we believe in, which really is prevention and early detection, because that's going to make the impact. Quickly, is there an age when we should start worrying about this? Well, this test was done in postmenopausal women. So cancer goes up as you get older. So we all know and have heard about people who've had ovarian cancer at a young age, but most of them happen in the mid 60s. Okay. So, right. thank, thank you, David. Postmenopausal. Wow. David Agus.